Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm gonna be talking about what I have really liked or not liked for the rest of the summer. I won't be putting out any more favorites until autumn, and I love that. This is, there's no beauty, a little bit of skincare, there's some lifestyle, household things. So first I'll do my favorites, and then I wanna talk about some sales that are going on. I'm, I'm filming this on August 27th. So I'm gonna tell you some places to look for some sales over Labor Day, which is tomorrow. Then I'm gonna talk about my fails, some safety, and then as usual, a little chit chat at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. One of the things I've absolutely loved is something that my daughter got me and I could not find it anywhere. And it is by OHME. She picked it up at CVS. And what it is, it's a long body scrubber. And what I love it for, to put behind my back when I'm taking a bath. So if you're interested in this, look for the brand. I think it's OHME. And I'll see if I can find it on any place, on the CVS website or whatever. But it's, I really, really like it. So I'm gonna use this for a couple months. I wash it afterwards. I use some, you know, antibacterial, whatever, soap, and rinse it out and hang it up, and, and I really do like it. I like to keep, be one ahead in most things that I know that I really like and that I wanna keep using. Well, for a long time, I could not find this product. I wasn't out. In fact, I have one in my, in my use-up set, uh, my trash, but I wanted an extra, and it is a Nutri-Ox and it's a treatment for your scalp for thin hair. I've used this ever since I started derma rolling, and the only time I use it is after I derma roll on when I wash my hair, because I only derma roll my scalp right after I wash my hair. And I wash my hair like, leave three days between the time I wash it and then, and then three days and then wash it again. So I don't use this real often, but but I want to have it. And I might do fine without this, but I've always used it, and I think it's been about four years since I started dermarolling my scalp for thickness is why I wanted it. I don't care if my hair grows fast at all. I just, uh, I just wanted it to be a little thicker. When I placed my last order to Timeless, I wanted to buy, I bought two of their derma rollers, and I think I told you about that. I hadn't tried them yet. And I really like it. It's less expensive, it's $10.99. This is what the one I use from Skin Diva. I think when I use my 20% discount, this is about $14 and some change. I do prefer the shape of this. I'm gonna hold it up and hopefully you can see it. This is straighter, but this, this works. They never carried the real needle derma rollers until now, so. They're, they work just fine, but I'm just used to this one. I will use them, but I'll probably repurchase the Skin Diva. The Skin Diva is made exactly like some of the quite a bit more expensive brands. And it has, Skin Diva has the 0.25 millimeter, the 0.5, the 0.75 millimeter, and the one millimeter. And to my knowledge right now, Timeless just has the 0.5 and the one millimeter. And I use my 0.25 every Sunday but once in a month. This is kind of good news. I don't know if I'm gonna take advantage of it. I don't think I will. To tell you the truth, it, it Cosmetics made me mad when they discontinued my Miracle Water. You know, I've used their secret sauce for some time and I've, and I've purchased a couple of different moisturizers because like right now I'm not using a moisturizer and I will use it when my skin needs it, when it gets colder. But the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce is back. It is now vegan. It's always been cruelty free. Okay, that's my skincare. And now I wanna talk about my household favorites. I decided th this year, last couple years, if something makes my life a little bit easier, I'm gonna get it. And Jim thought I was kind of crazy, but he went along with me. I got a new re refrigerator for my laundry room. And I knew exactly what I wanted. You know, I had that chest freezer in there. I got so sick and tired, even though I had it organized. I got so sick and tired of lifting everything and lifting everything. And I decided I wanted a side by side. I went into a Home Depot in June and I looked at them and I thought, I never wanted an ice maker. I've never had an ice maker. I've never had a side by side refrigerator. So I went in and I found one that the ice did not take up a lot of the space in the freezer. A lot of them, I wanted the freezer space. But to make a long story short, 
It didn't matter what color I have because I have a white washer and dryer, but I ended up with a chrome, and I'll put a link to it in case you want to see it or put a picture up here, and I really do like it a lot. I'll tell you what really surprised me. I anticipated putting the things from my chest freezer into the side-by-side -side and then needing to keep my chest freezer until everything was gone. I, I, I put everything in my chest freezer in that freezer side. And then I, it was empty, so I gave it to my daughter. Yeah, I, I'm real happy with it. But when I come home from the grocery store, I can just put what I want in there. And anyway, I'm, it's a little extra, but you know what? It's okay. I had asked your opinions on a Kindle. And when they had Amazon Prime Day, I took all your suggestions and looked at what they had. And I ended up buying, let's see, I don't even want to know what the name of this one is but it's this size. I thought, well, and I think it was $50, and I thought, well, I'm gonna start with a Kindle that is smaller, and then as I read more, then I will go to something larger, and, and this won't go to waste at all. And I did read a book, and I'll tell you, well, I'll go ahead and tell you about my book. It was a book by Amy Harmon, and I think it's Where the Lost Wander, and they wandered all over going out west, and I really enjoyed it. She did a great job in describing the people. You know, you really thought you knew the characters. I don't know why I picked that one. When you get a Kindle, you get three months of their Kindle free books. And, and I found out you can go right into your Amazon page and cancel that because I don't really want to have a $9.99 subscription to uh, Kindle eBooks. So I went in there and I canceled it, but I still have the use of it for three months. So I didn't know if you could do that or not. So I enjoyed it. What I have trouble with is when I sit down to read, it takes me so long to get my mind where I can read, but that's all I want to do. I don't want to do anything else. And I think I did real well with this. I allowed myself maybe an hour every day and I read it in a few days and, and I enjoyed it. I haven't read another book, but I know I will. I'll tell you something that I loved, but I won't be able to get it again probably until after I have my, after I can get off blood thinners, and I'm hoping that's going to be next spring. I'm supposed to have an amulet device implanted, and then I won't have to watch all my greens. But this is from Farmer's Fridge, and I'll put a picture in here of what it looks like. I love them. They're salads, and they're, they're $9.99. It makes one meal for one person, or it makes two really nice side salads. Well, I love the dark leafy green, and I'm only, I'm limited to how much I can have because I'm already on 10 milligrams of my blood thinner. And Jim wasn't crazy about it because he likes iceberg lettuce. But my favorite salad right now is from Wendy's, and it's the apple pecan salad. I ordered an apple pecan salad from Farm, Farmer's Fridge. And it was delicious, but it wasn't as good as Wendy's. But Wendy's is a 20-mile round trip. The only thing, I'll tell you what I didn't like about it, is that you have to have your box 83% full. They have yogurt. They have Thai noodles. They have a lot of different things. It started out retail. They, you know, they have kiosks, different places, and they have them in stores. But it, everything stayed so fresh, the way they have it packaged. I, I was very impressed and I will do it again. I'll put a link down below. It is a link that you will get if you order it, and what it does, it gives you $10 off, and it gives me $10 credit. Once, you, if you order it, then you'll get a link, and you can give it to your friends. It's that kind of sort of thing. I heard about it from Emily Noel 83 They will last in your refrigerator. It says two to four days. The, the ones I had, there was like a five-day window, and everything. The way they store them, they say fresh and crisp. And then their containers I will use again and again. On sales, like I said, today's August 27th. The only sale I know about right now is from Dermatology. And I have a Dermatology link and I, I have a 20% discount. Well, what they have, I think, that I'll leave the codes below. If, if you use their code, you can get $10 off $50. Well, if you use my link, my code, you'd get 20% of that, which is the same. You'd get $20 off a $75 order or $30 off of a $100 order. And I know Timeless will have a sale. I'm sure Skin Diva will. Any brand that you really like, check on their website. And usually they start a few days before 
And like I know the dermatology ends tomorrow night, Monday night at midnight. And anytime you use any of my discount codes, if they have a better deal than what my code is, you can always put it in and I get credit. And I never know who orders for me, but I wanna thank you, anybody who uses my links. I don't try to push them, and uh, but I appreciate it a lot. Altus 21 Days of Beauty. I haven't ordered anything yet, I, and I don't know that I will. And it goes through the 17th. I know on September 9th, they have the Superhero Mascara, and that's the only mascara that I use anymore. That's I, I've been sold on that for a long time for like half price, and it's $13. And I think I still have, t I have two backups. I change mine every season. I think I can get a better deal on QVC when it gets closer to the holidays. I can usually get quite a few of them and get a great deal. So I probably won't order that. So if you're interested in makeup, look every day on the Ulta website because they will have an online only deal and sometimes they'll have special deals like, I know Buxom has one September 2nd, which has not happened yet, but when I load, upload this video, it will be yesterday. And I'm interested to see if maybe they have their blush. I love Buxom blushes. Okay, I've got to talk about my fails and, and I had one big one. I have used Grande Lash for several years and I use it three days a week. Had to use it every day when it's when it started, but just to keep the lashes away, I want them, which is kind of almost a little, and they need to be a little bit longer. But anyway, I thought I'd try something that had a ton of five-star reviews from Amazon, and I think it was called V Beauty, and I'll type it in up here. Well, I started using that, and I wrote the date on it. I think it was June 6th or something like that and I put my Grande Lash aside. I used it for a month, and I will show you. I'll put in a couple of my photos that, on my thumbnails. I couldn't believe how quickly I lost my lashes when I quit using the Grande Lash. Like anything else, you need to do your research. I started using the generic Latisse on my eyelashes, and it was a prescription, and I got it through GoodRx. Well, you know, there's a whole lot of things that side effects. Like if you have light eyes, it could change the color of your eyes. So before you start using anything that I recommend or anybody recommends, check and see. I mean, I've got dark eyes, so I'm not going to be worried. And anyway, just wanted to kind of let you know that. I started back on my Grande Lash after one month, and I've gotten them back to where I am just using it three days a week. So when I do my empties, whenever it's not empty yet, I'll tell you how long it lasted, but I'll have to remember to subtract one month. In the meantime, I don't, I never know when my grunt, when my products, I use a Grande Brow and I use an eyelash. I never know when it's going to be empty, so I always want a backup. I had a backup brow, but I did not have a backup uh, lash. I saw that Grande Cosmetics had 25% off of one of their products, and it is the lash and the brow. It says it's a $70 value for $45, and they had a percentage off, so I spent $33 and, and some change and got this. Whatever they say this will last, I think these will both last me 16 weeks because when I don't go back in and, and get more, and I just start on my lashes about right here and go out. I don't put it all the way across the, you know, the lash line and I just use it three days a week. So I got two of them. And I'm glad I did because I thought for sure Ulta would have them on their 21 days and I haven't seen them unless it's gonna be a surprise. So the fail of the V Beauty made me happy I could get a deal on some products that I like. Okay, I ordered some rattan paper plate holders or even a dish holder. If your dish is too hot, you can put your food in here. This is what I used for years and years and years. And you can wash them and put them flat. I mean, I've had these since my kids were young. And they're also really good if you want to send a plate of food with somebody. You can just send it and put it in here. I mean, in a dish in here and cover it. Well, I got down to like having two of them. I probably started out with 24. And I thought, well, I'll order these on Amazon. Look at this. I mean, you can see right through it. I was... I'll use them, but I'm going to be looking for some good ones. So if anybody, I've tried to look. So if anybody knows where I can get some good ones that you can't see everything through, just let me know. On safety, a friend of mine told me she had gone to the grocery store 
And she had her phone, just like I do, with my credit cards and my uh, driver's license. And she was in the parking lot. And some man got her attention. And then somebody else came up and took her, her phone. So she was spending the time trying to cancel all her credit cards, you know, driver's license, so on and so forth. Her recommendation is to carry one credit card and your driver's license and a shoulder bag. I'll add something to it. You can buy shoulder bags that are razor resistant. I mean, the, yeah, the bag and the strap. And what I do, of course, I always know when I'm going to the grocery store. I don't ever just stop by the grocery store. What I do is, you know, I take my phone that I always carry. The only case I've ever used. I've just bought new ones when I've gotten different phones. And when I get to the store, I always make sure I have pockets. So I can put my key fob in one pocket. And when I get to the grocery store, I take my debit card out. And then I put my phone under my seat. And then I go in and I lock my car. I've got my debit card, I've got my list, and then I have my fob. So you just have to be really, really, really careful, even more so these days. I've never seen anything like it. Also watch for scams in your email. I'm gonna put one up here that's a scam. And then you can see I circled the address. It's not, it's not real. And I get these all the time. When I get something from Amazon or from PayPal or something, the address is small and you can tell it's theirs. And it's just very frustrating. So just to be really careful, they want you to click on something. They want information there. I think they're called phishing, P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G, not sure, but just be really careful. Also be careful if you get gasoline. I'm gonna put a picture up here. There's a seal on every pump and I always look at the seal and make sure it's not broken because that's something else people can do. And with the price that gas has been, and probably will be, it's it's better now, but it's not where it should be. Somebody can pull up there in a van, they can spend a little time and put a card reader in there, but they can't put a card reader unless they break the seal. So that's something to watch out for. And from this point on, I, I have not been wearing foundation at all in my videos, and I'm not going to do it until after the after I do my 16 week comparison. I have on mascara, navy eyeliner, and the upper waterline, lip gloss, and or lipstick. And then I have powder that I use just two fingers, put it in powder, and put it right here. So I don't have any makeup on, and I'm hoping that I can compare some of these two also. Now on September 20th, I'm going to film my face, and I'm gonna to try to get some real good comparisons. It was, I think it was May 31st when I started uh, using my LED mask. And on the 20th of September, I will film it. But it probably won't go out until the, the first Sunday in October. I wanted to let you know that gym surgery is gonna be in October. Can't, don't wanna say the date, but I will let you know when it's over. And I appreciate your prayers and your good wishes. And as soon as I finish filming, I'm gonna go back in, see if I got a video, sometimes I don't. And, uh, and I'm gonna to reply to all your nice notes from my last video. But it is all good, it is all good. I uh, appreciate you more than, uh, than you can really imagine. I, I tell you, I've been getting a lot of comments on old videos that people are watching and, uh, and it, it makes my day. I will see you in my next video and you take care. But I wanted one, no, and I send it with my daughter the, the next day. I mean, and I haven't read it, read it. and it almost made, I started a subscription, <laughs> cruelty, I mean, it's always been cruelty fit free.